With any popular game will come a whole bunch of ripoffs trying to capitalize on the success of the other developers' hard work. Naturally, since Fortnite has been absolutely dominating the gaming world for months now, ripoff developers have been giving plenty of time to try and get their fingers in the cartoony battle royale candy bowl. And there are some pretty horrible ones out there right now. What is up, guys? Jimmy or Chaos, welcome to Chaos Top 10s. Today, we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the worst Fortnite ripoffs right now and unsurprisingly most of these are mobile games so let's get started this month's giveaway is for a new playstation 4 console all you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video be subscribed to the channel and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload and in the comment section let me know why you want to win the ps4 and include your twitter handle so i can contact you if you're the winner the winner will be announced at the end of the month Let's kick it off at number 10 with Fort Craft. That's right, this is one of the first real Fortnite ripoffs to hit the scene back in March of 2018. Fort Craft is an iOS and an Android game with a horrible soundtrack that plays almost exactly like Fortnite does. You spawn into this very cartoony map with a pickaxe hammer type item so you can farm your resources as you run around the map and look for color-coded weapons and various kinds of ammo so you can shoot each other, build forts, and be the last person standing. Does that sound familiar? While other games on this list at least tried to cover up their plagiarism a little bit, Fort Craft isn't even trying to hide it at all. That's right, even the map is laid out like Fortnite. It even features similar architecture and chess mechanics for weaponry. Now, funny enough, Fortcraft actually has solid reviews due to it being a decent alternative for Android players looking to play Fortnite on their phones. That is, until the actual game comes along. At number 9, we have Fortnite with a K, Last X, Battlefield Frontline Survivor. That is a long game title. Get ready for the super long convoluted names like this one because there's a ton of titles like that on today's list. When a mobile game developer makes a ripoff, they want to make sure everyone will see it, so they jam tons of references to other games in their title to get the most search results. So here we have Fortnite Last X Battlefield Frontline Survivor, a mobile game developed by Magnet Mind Studios with a pretty hilarious description. The game describes itself as the grand battle for survival shooter and a last man standing survival as opposed to just calling itself a battle royale. But perhaps my favorite part of the game description are these two sentences in the third paragraph. Take your aim directly to shoot Fortnite secret spy agent opponent with boom boom guns battle royale ground. Call of Guns Bros Fortnite Battlegrounds Ultimate Survival has turned into frontline global war crime battlefield for PvP combat shoot. <laughs> Whoever wrote this description has some explaining to do. It's just it's just two run-on sentences full of tags and keywords. At number eight, we have Mod Fortnite Battle Royale for MCPE, another long title game developed by La 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 PA that attempts to bring Fortnite into Minecraft Pocket Edition, although. There are a lot of speed bumps on this. First of all, there's only one gun in the game due to the developer essentially admitting in the game description that they didn't know how to add more than one gun. Secondly, the game starts with only two people in the lobby, making it kind of a pointless battle royale. Thirdly, the game description states that the map is fully automatic. I, I, I don't know what that means. According to various reviews on Google Play, the mod doesn't even work, so you should probably pass on even trying to download this one. At number seven, we have Pixels Unknown Battleground. Here we have yet another Minecraft-inspired game that wants to take advantage of not only Fortnite, but PUBG as well. The title is an obvious rip of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, but the cover art is total one-to-one -one recreation of the Fortnite cover art, but with Minecraft characters in place of the originals. As for the gameplay, it actually features a ton of weaponry and a pretty impressive map as far as mobile games go, so credit where credit is due there. Although, the devs seem to be a little full of themselves because in the game description, they write, skins look absolutely perfect. They even name drop other games like Daisy and Seven Days to Die, likely in an effort to grab those players from the search bar as well. Not exactly subtle at all. At number six, we have Grand Battle Royale Pixel War. Yep, here we go. Another game that's trying to rip off as much as they can get away with by incorporating Fortnite, PUBG, and Minecraft all into the same place. Developed by GameSpire LTD, Grand Battle Royale Pixel War is a PvP Battle Royale mobile game that is free to play and is just one of the ripoffs that GameSpire has put their name on. They also previously released World of Gunships to try to capitalize on the success of both World of Warships and World of Tanks. And what is it with vehicular combat games and the phrase World of in the title? So, how is Grand Battle Royale Pixel War, you may ask? Well, 
It sucks. The top review on the Google Play Store for this game even goes as far to call it the worst Battle Royale game ever made. At number five, we have Royale Robot Warrior Fortnite Battlefield. <laughs> Just another game jam-packed with various franchise titles to try and grab as many people from the search as possible. Developed by Octagame Studio, Royale Robot Warrior Fortnite Battlefield actually has a strangely complex plot involving mech warriors, robots, ninja fighters, alien terrorists, and a whole lot more. In fact, the game's description even lists complex situation as one of the selling points, so it seems they're proud of the fact that they just threw everything they could think of into this game. As of the recording of this video, Royal Robot Warrior Fortnite Battlefield has been downloaded over 5,000 times. At number four, we have Random Drop Generator for Fortnite. This mobile app was developed by Ben Something, and I think it's safe to put this one in why would anybody download this category of the App Store? Random Drop Generator for Fortnite is just a screen with a button, and when you press the button, it shows you a random place on the Fortnite map. That, that's literally it. That's this game. It's literally just a random Fortnite location picture. Why would you download this instead of just Googling an image of the Fortnite map? Or, hey, download Fortnite Mobile for free and go drop wherever you want to. I don't know. Somehow, Random Drop Generator has been downloaded over 50,000 times on Google Play as of this video. At number three, we have Conflict.io Battle Royale Battleground. At number three, we have a game that's taking a little bit of PUBG, Fortnite, and various .io games that have been popular in recent years. The cover art is a total ripoff of Fortnite Battle Royale's cover art with the addition of the iconic frying pan from PUBG. As for the gameplay, it's actually a top-down shooter as opposed to a first or third-person shooter like most of these games are, so at least it has something unique going for it. Plus, going through the reviews on Google Play, the developers have been responding to almost every single review, positive or negative. So it's clear that they actually care about what they're doing. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due. But then again, when you go look at the title and the fact it's got the frying pan with a Fortnite guy, yeah, you can't give them too much credit. At number two, we have Strange Battle Royale 3D. This appropriately named Android game was developed by the team called Battle of the Game, and it's a Battle Royale multiplayer game that, according to the reviews, was rushed to the market and doesn't even work properly. Strange Battle Royale 3D features a cartoony art style and exaggerated physics, as well as a few suspicious character models that look like they were ripped straight from Gears of War. The developers of this game also seem to be a little full of themselves, as they call it the most grand and incredible battle in history in the game's description, which seems a little over the top, a little bit of an overstatement if you ask me, but whatever. After over 10,000 downloads on Google Play, Strange Battle Royale 3D has been ripped apart by players due to the countless bugs and glitches, and like many of the others, has a good amount of obviously fake five-star reviews to try and pad out the ratings and make it look just a little better, so maybe... Maybe you'll want to download it and get yourself three minutes of gaming experience. And finally, at number one today on this amazing list of ripoffs, we have Fortnite Battle Royal Gameplay. I didn't spell that wrong. The developers did. Fortnite Battle Royal Gameplay is developed by MixApp Studios, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Just gameplay. In fact, judging from the reviews on Google Play, I believe the gameplay part of the title was added post-release because there are tons of people saying that they were conned into downloading it when it wasn't even an actual game. You couldn't play it. Fortnite Battle Royal gameplay has been unfortunately down downloaded over 5,000 times by people looking to play their favorite game on their phone, and the reviews are full of obviously fake five-star reviews with simple descriptions like awesome and best game ever. Of all the blatant attempts to prop it off of Fortnite's success, I say this one goes down in the history books as the worst of the bunch. There you go, guys. Have you been conned into downloading any of these games where you thought, hey, maybe it's kind of like Fortnite, maybe I want something a little different, or did you just get completely tricked and think this was Fortnite Mobile? It's okay, circle of trust in the comment section. You can let us know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, there's a playlist below with all the other Fortnite videos that go up. Go binge watch as long as you want to, and if you enjoyed this one, Drop a like, turn on those notifications, ring that little bell, and I'll see you guys very soon.